What's going on YouTube? Flashy here. Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video. And to nobody's surprise, we are back with another Red Eyes deck profile and gameplay. I honestly cannot get enough of these Red Eyes cards. I think they're so much fun. There's so many different ways to play them. And today we're going to be going over how to steal all of your opponent's cards. And as always, before we get into it, if you guys have been enjoying the Master Duel content, please be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this deck and if you tried it out. First, let's jump into the gameplay and then we'll go over the deck profile card by card. All right, guys, and here we go. It is time to steal all of our opponent's cards. We ended up opening with a really really solid hand here of course if you're playing this red eyes deck and you open with red eyes insight you pretty much already won it allows you to dump one red eyes card into the grave and you get to pick up a red eyes fang with chain so first turn we end up doing a lot of stuff so let's slow it down here we ended up dumping one red eyes into the grave and we also opened our black zone of legend so it's like once you get this combo going you are set black zone of legend allows you to tribute itself and then you can summon one red eyes from your deck so we got one red eyes in the grave we got a Red Eyes Fang set, which is literally the sickest card in this entire deck. If you guys watch any of the other Red Eyes videos, which I'll link down below in the description, Red Eyes Fang with Chain is always the MVP. And then we open up with our Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon, which is essentially just another Red Eyes. You never do the double normal summon with it to get the burn effect. But other than that, we're looking pretty good. We're looking strong. Opponent sets a lot and then passes. So I'm kind of like, okay, we're looking pretty good. We got Red Eyes in the grave. Drew a Black Metal Dragon, so that's looking good. Gotta go Harpy's Feather Duster. To start it off, clear their back row. We can go Return of the Dragon now, which is going to allow us to special summon one Red Eyes from our grave. So we opened up literally the perfect hand in this duel. It was absolutely awesome. So this is going to allow us to special summon one Red Eyes from our grave. Look at that animation. It's so good, and it never gets old. And now we're going to go into the Black Metal Dragon effect, which we can just attach it to a Red Eyes monster, and we gain 3,000 attack. Pretty simple. So... Now we got Fang with Chain down. We got one in the hand as well. We are looking good. We haven't even stolen any of our opponent's cards yet. And we have 5,400 attack on the field right now. Secondary effect of Black Metal Dragon is also really good. It allows us to pretty much add one Red Eyes card from your deck to your hand. All these add one Red Eyes card to your, from your deck to your hand is so good. Because you could go Red Eyes Fang with Chain. You could grab a monster if you want to. You could grab Red Eyes Spirit. It's just the combos are insane so we're gonna end up destroying this 1800 monster attacking directly for 3000 and now and we have ourselves just a purely offensive board with the red eyes fang with change so it doesn't matter what they summon on this turn we're just gonna be able to steal it anyway it doesn't even matter they actually ended up not doing anything they just set one and pass and i'm like okay well this is probably ggs right we got 5400 so i go right to the battle phase 3000 right to their head and then i'm looking for that final hit and unfortunately they do have a monster they have swordsman of the revealing light but again this whole deck is about stealing your opponent's cards and i just wanted to show that off i'm like okay well we're stealing that you're not allowed to have any of your cards we're taking them so we activate fang with chain we equip it to our red eyes black flare and then what you can do is reactivate fang with chain send it to the graveyard and that allows you to steal one of your opponent's monsters and your red eyes will have its attack and defense so red eyes fang with chain works really well for like really big monsters that you just can't get over like 4,000 attack monster or anything like that but for the sake of the video, I was like, listen, I'm just going to steal it. It ends, us, it ends up giving us zero attack, but I have no problem with that. So what we're going to end up doing is going right into our XC summon here. And we're going to go XCs into number 11, Big Eye. And this is like kind of the focal point of this entire deck. So Red Eyes Fang with Chain, we've talked about it a bunch. It allows you to steal your opponent's card. That's one way we steal our opponent's card. Now, if you guys are not familiar, number 11, Big Eye, it just works so well with the red eyes engine it's crazy once per turn you can attach one material from this card target one monster your opponent controls take control of that monster big eye can't attack this turn but that ends up not mattering anyway but what's crazy is also that primary effect where you have to detach guess what we're detaching one of our red eyes monsters what do you want with this deck you want to put red eyes in the grave so it is just always looping and it's so good man like if you can get big eye out utilizing your red eyes which is pretty much the only way you're going to get it out and detaching and taking your opponent's cards and then using fang with chain and taking more of their cards i mean it is absolutely insane so notice we also got a red eyes spirit that happened from our grave remember black metal dragon allows us to add one red eyes card doesn't have to be a monster so we get red eyes spirit from the deck to our hand where we can target one red eyes monster in the graveyard and special summon it and guess what we just dumped the red eyes into our grave from the big eye so it, it's just the craziest loop ever man so we got the red eye spirit down we got two materials on our big eye anything that they summon right now is coming to our side of the field so this actually came in super clutch they actually activate they actually summon galaxy dragon but it can only attack dragon type monsters and i was like oh geez but then i remember big eye is a spellcaster in a dragon deck so it doesn't even matter <laughs> galaxy dragon can't do anything 
our turn comes here and this is where the loop just gets absolutely insane so we have solemn and which we drew which is great now we're gonna detach one red eyes we're gonna steal their galaxy dragon and then we're gonna activate red eyes spirit and get the red eyes that we just detached into our grave and we're gonna resummon it dude this deck is insane we go into battle phase here direct attack they have threatening war doesn't even matter attack goes through it's ggs honestly the most insane way to play this deck a lot of our red eyes videos were focusing on black flare metal dragon but if you can get big eye out there and combine it with red eyes fang with chain and and you can literally just steal everything on your opponent's monster zone it is so sick and it's so much fun to play now we'll get into the full deck profile that was a quick one i think that was only like five or six turns but that just goes to show how insane this deck really is let's get into the full deck profile so you guys can build this one for yourself so here's the full deck list on how to steal your opponent's cards again this is pretty much the same deck list we've been using in all of our red eyes videos I, i'm really starting to like it i kind of i was changing it a bunch but i feel like this has been the most consistent one that i have again let me know down in the comments what changes you guys would make but of course we got to run three red eyes then we go three blackstone of legends if you open with this card you're pretty much set you contribute this special summon one level seven or lower red eyes really really simple then we go two black metal dragons again this was the really clutch one that allowed us to get that red eye spirit into our hand and also gave our red eyes an extra 600 attack so they turn into 3,000 attack monsters such a sick card really really like black metal dragon then of course your master duel staples you go two maxi two ash blossoms you could probably bump this up to three and three if you really wanted to i just have two of each so we're gonna run two then we go three red eyes baby dragon i do really like this card as well usually i'll set this one or maybe i've even had games where i utilize red eyes baby dragon i go fang with chain and it becomes a big beater monster but essentially what you do is when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard special summon one level seven or lower red eyes monster from your deck then equip this card to it and it gains 300 attack so another way of special summoning a red eyes and also making its attack even bigger really really awesome card there then we go one red eyes wyvern i had this at way more but i was like you only need one you might not even need one honestly it's essentially just a four star 1800 monster with like a decent graveyard effect where at your end phase you can banish this card from your graveyard target one red eyes monster in your graveyard and special summon it so a nice little card there i don't think you need more than one one is just fine then we go one red eyes retro dragon this is also a pretty good one this is the hand trap of the red eyes so we do run a couple hand traps we have maxi the ash blossom and then one red eyes retro dragon probably not going to come into effect too much but when you do get it it is pretty clutch basically what retro does is anytime a red eyes monster of yours is destroyed by an opponent's card or by an attack you can special summon this card in defense position and if you do special summon as many of those destroyed monsters as possible in the same position so basically it's like a pseudo monster reborn but you also get to have a red eyes retro as well so if you had a red eyes black dragon in attack it gets destroyed you can special summon retro in defense and then get your red eyes back from the graveyard so all about getting those red eyes into the grave and then bringing them back i only run one of these pretty solid then we go three red eyes black flare dragon this is literally just another red eyes black dragon it's got one of those like gemini effects where you could normal summon it again i never really do that it gives you some burn damage on battle but i never do that i just get it out there as another version of red eyes then we go one red eyes darkness dragon i have never really used this card yet i never draw into it maybe i should bump it up but this can become massive it's got the 2400 attack it can be special summoned by tributing one red eyes black dragon so your vanilla gains 300 attack for each dragon in your graveyard you can end up having like four or five dragons in your graveyard by like turn three with this deck so this thing can just become massive like 4000 attack but again it never really came into effect then red eyes darkness metal we run one of i would recommend going two it's expensive i don't have two of them right now but you can special summon this card by banishing one face of dragon monster you control and then during your main phase special summon one dragon monster from your hand or grave absolutely insane so every single turn that this card is out there you're getting another red eyes back out onto the field then we go one nibiru classic card gotta run it then into the spell cards we go one raigeki one harpy's feather duster one monster reborn one infernal fire blast honestly i'm probably going to get rid of this and when i add another darkness metal i'm going to get rid of this infernal fire blast i just don't think it's that good i know there's a lot of cards that can make it work really well especially if you're running like a fusion based red eyes but since we're doing xc's this card really doesn't come into effect we go to return of the dragon lords absolutely love this card this is basically a monster reborn plus a protective shield so you can target one level seven or eight dragon monster in your grave special summon it if a dragon monster you control would be destroyed you can banish this card from your graveyard instead so again you got that protective shield for your red eyes cards 
Then we go three red eyes insight. This is the card you want to open with along with your black stone of legend. This allows you to just dump one red eyes into the grave and then you can pick up a red eyes card. I usually opt for the red eyes fang with chain. Again, I think that's just the best card in the game. So you can dump a red eyes into your grave and then you get a fang with chain or a red eyes spirit. Kind of just depends on what you want. Then we go another master duel staple. We go one call by the grave just to kind of negate any ash blossom or maxi or anything like that that our opponent goes for. We go two red eyes spirit. This is just a trap card version of monster reborn. Target one red eyes monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Really simple. You guys saw that happen in the last game where we detached from the number 11 and then we just activated red eyes spirit and got that red eyes back out onto our field. Then three fang with chain, the best card in this main deck. I absolutely love this, man. As I was saying before, if you guys don't know, you can target one red eyes monster you control. It can make up to two attacks on monsters during this battle phase. I never use that effect. What I always go for is the secondary effect where essentially you can reactivate the fang with chain, send it to the graveyard, and then that allows you to attach one monster your opponent controls to whatever monster this card was attached to. And as you guys saw, it made us have zero attack, but you just got to watch out for that. It comes in really clutch. Again, when your opponent summons a big monster, even one that can't be destroyed by battle or anything like that, and you just fang with chain, bring it over to your side, and now one of your red eyes cards has its attack, and your opponent doesn't have access to it anymore. Super crazy card. Literally have to run it in red eyes. And then just two solemn judgment. I'm not really too worried about the life points. You're going to have a lot of big monsters out on your side of the field, and you're going to have an open field every time anyway, because your opponent's just going to lose all their cards because you're stealing them. So I run two Solemns just to negate anything that I can't get rid of at that time. For the extra deck, you can run anything you want. But the main cards that I would suggest, of course, for this video, we got to go with the big guy. You guys saw how clutch that was. Once per turn, detach one material from this card. Target one monster your opponent controls. Take control of it. This is all about stealing your opponent's cards. And big guy does that the best. And it, again, it just works so well because you're detaching a red eyes. Goes into the grave. And you're just going to be able to get that back anyway with all of your different cards that allow you to special summon from the grave. Then we go three red eyes, flare metal dragon. Three Dark Arm Dragon. One Zeus. Zeus is pretty clutch in this because you have so many Xyz monsters that you're going to be battling with. Never really comes into effect, but hey, I feel like if you run an Xyz deck, you got to go Zeus. And that is our Red Eyes Steal Your Opponent card deck profile. I'm telling you guys, you have to run it. It is a little bit on the expensive side. A lot of super rares, quite a few ultra rares. But if you do end up building this, let me know down in the comments how it goes for you. Again, I think this is the most fun deck. This is the deck I use in Ranked Ladder, and it's a ton of fun. As always, if you guys want to see more videos like this on the channel, please be sure to like, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to see you all in the next one.